Testing one, two, three, guys. Testing one, two, three. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, yo, what's up? Welcome to Venkabot. Bruise Day Tuesday, third strike action. My name is David. Guys, in about half an hour here, we're going to see if we can get a tournament started. But before then, I want to run a first attempt between Bones and Goss. They've been talking about this all the time on social media for the past, what, week? Non-stop. They've been getting hype about it, and I respect that. I hope that it goes very well for them. Let's get this show underway here, guys. I'm going to actually uh, see if I can move my mouse and keyboard over. I've known Bones for about two years. He might tell you I've known him for about ten years. It's been about two. Goss is a player that I met during the uh, during our fight cage shenanigans, so it's relatively recent. I've known Bones for longer than Goss. Both are uh, good friends of mine. Here we go. First to ten, Bones versus Goss. I asked them to get into a set. I don't see them here immediately. Let's see here. Hmm. Guys, go ahead and please jump in so I can affect your match. This has been much hyped up on uh, Twitter, mostly from Bones which uh, the guys in the chat are quick to point out. It's kind of ironic considering that Bones is oftentimes, uh, you know, it's not unusual for Bones to challenge you and then uh, be mysteriously missing when the time comes to actually fight. But this time, no ducks. Bones versus Goss, first to 10. Let us do it up. Look more boot camp. We're in there, first to 10, Bones versus Goss. Now, I love both these guys. I'm not really, I would normally, I was gonna say I wouldn't normally cheer for anybody. I would normally cheer for Goss. Let's be real, right? Goss is sick, he's an Alex player. Love seeing Alex win. But I'm gonna cheer for Bones in this set because I'm in so much, uh, I'm so deeply in love with his Necro and his Yang, and I really want him to stop playing Sean. When I met Bones on PS4, uh, his playstyle was nothing but gimmicks, wall to wall gimmicks. He had no fundamentals at all, he barely even played the game. And of course, there are some players, especially on PS4, a, a platform where, you know, the latency is very, excuse me, very, very high. It's not unusual to get away with, uh, you know, fast-paced rushdown sort of gimmicks. But uh, I've been really pleased to see how well his Necro has been developing, especially. Look at this pressure. Like period there from Goss. If Bones were to beat Goss, it would be uh, sort of a, a big twist in his arc. It'd be a big turn for him. So I'm going to cheer for Bones here, I feel like. Engage. And for Bones to beat Goss, uh, that would mean two things. One, it means that you know we're gonna see Goss grinding as well to level up for the run back. And two, it would mean again that Goss has, it means that Bones has really leveled up a lot. It'd be a good watermark for him, I feel like, to beat Goss. Okay, nice pressure here from Goss. High low mix-up, so you gotta do with Alex. That sweep is uh, quite unsafe, but with Alex, you really kinda gotta you know put it out there. Especially on Oki. There's the meaty, there's the stun, that should be around for Goss. What more decoy? decoy? Says, Go back to PS3, man. I like Fight Cave decoy. He loves Sean Lose's bootcamp. You gotta respect that. I don't respect that bootcamp. <laughs> I don't gotta respect it and I don't respect it. Because, you know, you can play Sean. Sean can be played in an intellectual way. He doesn't really succeed that way. In fact, he doesn't really succeed at all. But in the hands of a strong player, a very strong player, you know, Sean can be played honest and he can win, especially against players who aren't really ready for that, you know, for, for your, you know, your fundamentals. You know, Sean's got tools to play a fundamental game. He just really, you know, it's very hard for him to win. Yeah, unless your player, your opponent is, you know, not respecting you. Yeah, I think if Bones really loved Sean, he would, you know, he would he'd play a better Sean. His Sean is butt cheeks. Okay, nice. Yeah. First, on, first game goes to Goss in this first attempt. Are his bones doing good with Necro? Huh? I played him a lot on PS4 and recently on Fightcade. He has a ways to go, but I enjoy his playstyle. I think it's very much inspired by you, Arteus. Playstyle, uh... You know, I, he told me he's been watching a lot of his favorite uh, Necro players. American Necro players. And I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, his playstyle was uh, informed by yours in some capacity. Indeed, we're gonna have a tournament here uh, after the first of ten years. Whether it's only eight guys playing or whether it's three guys playing, we're gonna run a tournament. I didn't really promote it that much. The stream got started late, might not have a lot of guys. If you guys want to play, let me know once it sets over. I'll get you in there. Okay. So Bones were seeing, I warned Bones about this, right? Last time they fought on stream was in tournament. Yeah, you have to punch out with super, the EX, uh, EX uh, spin hook. But yeah, I warned Bones, he has to not do that spin hook. Uh, he has to press buttons after, because Goss always goes for the power bomb. It's not a punish. Bones has to press buttons after that uh, spin hook is blocked. Ah. Cost looking strong, Bones got to make an adjustment here for sure. Weak. Oh, worth revenge. We're doing it, guys. It's really happening. First 10 here, Bones versus Goss. 
that safe little punch we got that's some bones there. It doesn't get a super though. I guess the corner. Like the uh you know the uh the quote unquote meeting there from Ryan. Oh wow. Caught him dashing, got the super. Good block, no punish there from Goss. Overhead. Pressure, shenanigans. Caught him dashing. Not gonna kill though. It's not safe, no punish there, Mr. EX. Likewise there, no kill. Round three. But this is mixed spin hooks between jab ones and strong ones, huh? Engage. Yeah, Bones is not really again, he's not really. You gotta press a button right there. He's going for Torp Perry every single time, getting grabbed every single time. You don't gotta Torp Perry, just press Crouching Short or something. There we go. Okay, grab too soon. It's not safe. There's a punish from, uh, from Gauntz. That drill is not safe. Good blocks there from Bones. I like the poke there, Crouching Jab of the Challenge out of the corner. Good block on the Flying Viper from Gauntz. The blocks. We're seeing both a lot of pressure out there. All a bunch of razzmatazz, though. In the words of my friend Vince, uh, Necro really can't do a whole lot. Oh no, this is super. That could have been it. Dash up grab. That's not safe. Okay. You have to hit that reversal. Of the That's two for Gonks. Close game, but uh, close games, uh, you know, are not what Bones needs right now. So Vince says, my words, I have been summoned. So much of Razzmatazz. Necro play. pressure. As long as you're looking for the flying viper, you're pretty much good to go. Although, uh, I've been finding that uh, our lately has been hitting me with the fucking snake thing. He knows how to make me take the money hit with an overhead. These snake things, but it's kind of funny. What's up, Nero? Looking more Doc? What's up, Dads and Caps? It looks like Alex wins this match with a little bit, but we're not going to figure out the matchup from what these two play. Alex uh, does not win this matchup on paper. It's about even. That being said, uh, yeah, this is not the matchup. This is just two players on Fight Cade throwing down. Okay, come dash up there again. Got the super again. I don't know how that works, to be honest. Okay, could have supered that. There you go, that's better. There you go. So make him block. Tell him grab you. Looking board, Jose. First attendant with a man, indeed it is, yes. Go. Arte says Bones not gonna win this set. I had high hopes, but he's looking pretty rough right now. But I like to see he's starting to, you know, put more spin hook pressure out there. I like that. See right there. That's what he needs. He's using the start. This could turn the tide. Really, again, Goss is playing great. But we're seeing, you know, that spin hook, you know, getting power bar out of spin hook has been a huge thing for him so far in this set. Goss has gotten so much damage for free from power bombing that spin hook. I think that without that, we're going to see this become much more even. Look at this, look at this pressure. Okay. Okay. The punish on the uh, rising cobra pressure that uh, pulls bottom that. Nice punish there from Goss. He's ready for the uh, snake thing that time. Bones has to start going to the air. I knew it was going to come, yeah. We're going to see the, start, the jump soon. Gets to stop going for that spinning bar on that fucking flying viper. Goss is not biting. One thing I noticed from having played a lot of uh, Necros on PS4, especially, is that... Oh my god. When Necros are not comfortable yet with the character, with the, with the matchup against Alex, they tend to go for that flying viper a lot. And that is a, a, a good whip punish for Alex, can whip punish Flying Viper for whiffs. But also, again, it's not that hard to block if they see it coming. If you can really kind of mix it up, you can make it hard to kind of see coming. But if you're doing it all the time as part of your regular pressure, uh, you're just spending, you're wasting your bar on the East Flying Viper. Good throw there from Goss. You're not going to want to try to dash up and grab with Necro. It seems as though uh, Bones is not really comfortable with Necro's grab range, but me and Arteus fought a first uh, death uh, last Bruise Day. Uh, we saw that, you know, Necro's grab range is really, really far without needing a Kara. And uh, part of what Arteus does that makes me very frustrated is that he knows exactly how far that grab will reach, as you expect for a character specialist, and they sort of, you know, he just kind of walks in that range and grabs you, and you keep thinking to yourself, there's no way you can grab you from that far. 
but he can't. You don't really want to dash up and grab it, Necro. He's got a, a pretty bad dash. Fighting you want to walk up and look at it. Very risky parry there, especially with Alex. Alex loves to grab you right there. Okay. Lots of flying viper here. Again, you can whip punish that if you're ready for it. I'm sure as the set goes on, Gossip's gonna start punishing those. But the flying vipers are not the truth. Right there, it's a whip punish. You can sweep that. Once again, the power bomb. Reset. Go attack. That's not safe, you can actually uh, yeah, flash up with that. Good uh, poke from Goss there. I mean, woke up some buttons, that's Necro's privilege. Oh, that was disgusting. Didn't kill though, better chip. Okay, just keep mashing. There you go. Wow, good shit. Wow, what a cross up. Dude, what, you got fucking veggie straws with it, man? I don't fucking want the veggie straws, dog. Interesting trade there, special and heavy. It's not safe, the punch there from Goss. Crushing Short Super, that's the Goss special. Nice life lead here. Oh no. Okay, you can't punish. Don't forget to grab though. Okay. Put a lot of uh, saving MP out there. We need to see uh, Bones hitting a bunch of uh, short low, low buttons to beat that uh, standing medium punch there. Once again, we're seeing uh, Bones win for everything but a button press after that uh, spin hook. You can stop Alex from stomping there. You can stop Alex from doing anything there. By pressing a button. We're seeing Bones going for a lot of torque parries. He went for a grab that time. Like poke there. It's not safe. Bones has got out of the corner now. Yeah, the fucking Flyboard doesn't even do much damage when it connects. I've never seen Necro in my life poke as much with Flying Viper as I'm seeing Bones do right now. There's a stomp again. I'm seeing uh, Goss getting a lot of mileage out of that. You're seeing a bootleg DP there from Goss. Beating uh, Bones in the air is what you want to do in Necro against Necros that are very airborne. Alex has an excellent jump, and Necro is a very floaty jump. Necro can space his jump very carefully to make it hard for Alex to kind of uh, move in the air. Nice. Smart idea there. But it's not free. You know, God, uh, Alex has the tools to really kind of make it hard for Necro in the air. We're tied up, guys. Two teams. Yeah, it's gonna be singles, though, indeed. Alex can only punish it, Vince, if it's literally point blank. So Vince is asking the chat here, Alex can't punish an electric snake? No, only if it's, like, they're literally, their creature models are right next to each other when it happens. And then it has to be reversal timing, EX flash up. Very easy to miss. If you're any further away than that, then no, you can't punish it at all. Turn it, Bluey. Box here. I like the way the Gossip putting these beat punches out there because of this style of Necro, you know, again, just we're seeing Bones just really kind of pressing a lot of buttons and trying to apply a lot of pressure. And that's fair. But he has to be respectful as well of Alex's pose. Okay, challenge up with the slash, I wouldn't see that coming. Okay, hits him with the high low. Yeah, Bones is sort of. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I like to see that. I like to see Bones pressing some buttons after his spin hook. Respect your plus frame, Goss. You're hoping Goss is gonna walk into that one this time he doesn't fall for it. Oh, so it should have been Electric Snake! Bones wasn't using his noodle there, right? He saw Goss go for two sweeps in a row. He blocked the third one, but did not punish it. That could have been his round. He saw a third one coming. Nice cancel there from Goss. At the punish there on the uh, awkwardly spaced uh, uh, drill kick. Air to air is an interesting option. I respect, uh. Oh, shit. Yeah, see, Bone's not going for, like, any low buttons. No cr. This is another. You can. I got a snake. Uh, let's snake that. Bone's not going for any crushing shorts here. So Goss is comfortable just blocking everything and challenging with standing medium punch. Because Bone's is always standing. If you're always standing, that, uh. Standing medium punch is very strong. 
There we go. I need more crouching short. There you go. He couldn't chip there if he wanted to. Nice parry from Goss. Could be it. Third strike, y'all. Street Fighter 3. Okay. Not quite. You're gonna play Digimon? Ooh, let's fucking go, dude. Viva King, yes! Guys, nice, as a reminder, we're gonna actually do our formal signups here uh, once the set is over. So please remind me then. If you're not here then, then I promise you no spot in the tournament. Oh, what a grip. Oh no, you gotta punish that, man! I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> that was sick. I believe that uh, Goss started to crouch block a little bit, and I was seeing uh, Bones putting more crushing shorts out there. Crushing fierce challenges to jump, very fast reaction from Goss. There you go, we're 3 2 now. One more, Dion. Digimon says FIFA can't wait to run into bracket, huh? Run into bracket? Roboman is hungry. Q demands meat. First to 10 here, guys. Once the set's over, we're going to start doing you know, formal sign ups. When I say sign ups, I'm going to say, who wants to play? If you want to play them, let me know. Go. Uh, Alex get punched actually at bar, the snake thing. Out the block from Goss. Good shit. Now we're gonna have to see Bones stop the jump out now. We're gonna see a jump here very soon. Okay. Ooh, okay. Just gonna woke up with some buttons. That's Necro for you. Gotta respect that shit. It's not safe, a good punish from Goss. Ooh, what's a combo? Wow, he drops the uh he dropped the uh Flash out. Maybe he didn't want Flash out. Maybe you're telling you you're like a budget max. This Prince of Delta, but I've heard that before. I've heard that before. Like fucking great value Maximilian. They're both looking good, brother, man, yeah. They both got big holes in their game, but that's to be expected. Max bad budget. Who? Maximilian, like Maximilian D. Think so, Vince? The block? Or the Urs? Oh, stomps? Let's do a escape uh, from Goss there. Just waiting for Bones to hang himself. Super those. You gotta super those. Oh, kill him! Goss pulls head by two. Bones drops a very clutch punish there. Now. Find a new rival. Welcome to oh, we're Look, I like my eggs, so. You guys see those commercial new plant-based eggs? Want to see some Mac Knight? v should fucking play, dude. After this, the real set begins? No, no, KD, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> dude, me and our taste have fought plenty. Goss is winning in the neutral here now. Medium punch is just uh, really messing up Bones' whole situation. <laughs> Before or after tournament lambda? We'll see. I'm fucking scared. I'm mad scared, dude. Got the punish? No free electricity? Alex also back fierce that. More sweeps. Stop doing that. Electric is good, especially against Alex. Punish that. No, don't do that. Okay. Got them for some kind of shenanigans here. Okay, kind of a... You know, a punish-ish from Bones here. Got the corner out of it anyway. That's what's up. Okay, controlling the corner here. It's very hard for Alex to... Yeah, very hard for him to actually... Uh, crouching fierce that dot, the drill. So the drill is very fast. Do a close to the ground. I wish that Bones wouldn't really reset there. Cribs, Goss loves that shit. Schweppes, where's the overhead? Oh, we got super. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That's not invincible. 
It's not even that fast. Garnus pulling ahead here. We're seeing Bones dropping some very clutch punches. He seems really fixated on his flow chart. And he's not really aware of what's happening around him. He needs to open up his eyes. That's been good because you want to dash up with uh, with uh, Necro. Almost never seen Necro dash, period. That's a combo there. Boss decides not to go for the uh, EX, probably save some bar, get some punishes. Oh no, I take back what I said. Boss don't give a fuck about no bar. Into the heat of battle. Right. Go for it. Goth pulling ahead now. Quite convincingly. First scene is definitely hitting bones. Getting better punishes than that. Oh yeah, I like to see him putting more pressure out after his uh after his uh flying like me his uh spin hook. Because Goth's getting a lot of mileage out of just challenging out a spin hook and you, you should be able to just do that. In my experience. And I fought a lot of Necro. He barely evades the uh the uh stomp there somehow. Probably they didn't combo, to be honest. Yeah, you can't punish that with a medium punch. The only way to punish uh, EX spin hook is with Alta Super. Okay, Bones again, flow charting really hard here. Okay, nice little life lead there. He's not willing to slow it down. Just for uh, second round, though. No Sean, mother man, that's the rule. It's Sean's, it's Bones Necro versus Goss Owl. Look for the stomp. Interesting trade. The space must be looks uh, pretty whack. There's a stomp. Also, that excellent escape from the corner. When you're fighting Necro, uh, you kind of don't remember who you're playing. Oh my god. You have to, you know, look for the seam, right? Look for the seam and uh, and challenge. Because Necro's got pretty good pressure when he has you in the corner. But again, a lot of it is smoke and mirrors. A lot of it are high blocks. You know, as long as you're staying silent, holding down back, looking for the overheads like Flying Viper, you're gonna find your way out. We gotta be patient. You're seeing Goss uh, excellent timing his stomps. Okay. I like those beauty punches Goss put out in the corner there as well. Alex is a medium punches that. Fucking excellent poke. Yeah, yeah. It's got shortcomings, but for a character as low tier as Alex, it's something he doesn't really. Oh, that's a little uh, shimmy there from Goss. For a low tier like Alex, it is an excellent tool to have. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised that one. That's not safe. You actually you get slashable that. There's a super. It's not safe, but uh, Goss did a bar, so that was safe. That wasn't safe, but nobody punishes that. Nobody knows that Alex is back fierce isn't safe. Lanta, he always resets. Bones always resets. He never wants Oki. He's like, Oki? What do I want with Oki? I'm gonna reset you and, you know, make you block or tech my grab. Okay. There's the grab. No combo in the corner. It's happening, it's your luck, it's happening. Uh-oh. There's the escape from Goss, getting good awareness from Goss there. Wake up super, not gonna kill. Bones has no bar now. Oh no! Remember what Bones wanted there, you gotta kill him there. There's that should grab, should be it. Yeah, again, I'm really disappointed with Bones, uh, you know, again, the flow charting. He just wants to do his thing, and he wants to do it over and over and over again. We're not seeing any punishes. We're not seeing any awareness of the situation. Right there, that's such a bizarre drill. Luckily, it worked. Goss definitely, uh, you know, playing much smarter here. And that's why he's four up right now. I'm working on him going five up. That is not a safe uh, sweep against Alex. You can slash up with that. Nice challenge there from Goss. He's five up. I wonder if it's uh, for anti-airing Alex's jump-ins as Weatherman, huh? 
the SA1? Yeah, I don't know. You don't want to, you know, Arteus will tell you SA1 is, you know, that's his super, of course. But in my experience of fighting Arteus probably about 10,000 times over the years, I can say that SA1 is not an effective anti-air against Alex. You know, because very often it just hits like twice, it has no damage. I don't see, basically, I don't know if it's different for other characters, maybe it's different for other characters, but I don't see why you want to rock SA1 as an anti-air. It just seems like it doesn't hit that consistently. Good block. Bugboard sink stripper. Okay, hit him really deep there. Is that safe? Yeah, Bones very unwilling to slow it down here. Don't want to play any now. huge. Nice punish there from Goss. Okay, Goss the random EX slash elbow. Uh, uh, Necro cannot punch without super, so that's fine. Take grip. That's true, man. Sometimes Necrophilia. Sometimes he really do. Sometimes Necrophilia. Nice cut control to super. I can't believe that actually grabbed at the end. You win. Goss, now two wins away from taking the set. Now, Let's see if Bones can come back. And Bones is going to really have to take a deep breath and let go of all things he wants to do. Because what he wants to do is not working. Right? When you're playing Thursday, it's so important that you watch your opponent and, you know, play based on what they do as well. Not just what you want to do, but also what they do. And really seeing Bones just sort of protecting himself with doing his, his thing, even though it's not really working for him. See, that's the way Bones are playing now, so you kind of slow it down a little bit, that's good. Take grips. Oh wow, I can't believe that punish like that, that was sick. Bones the corner. Caught him uh, with the meaty, but he did a super uh, execution there. Best way to stun is four elbows, plus uh, in the corner or throwing at him. SA1 keeps him out of the air, says Arteus. Uh, SA1 when stocked, it changes Alex as well as everyone else's game style. That's true, Arteus, but I wonder if... I wonder if... Uh, I don't know. I started to think Arteus would to try to challenge that more. Because whenever, whenever I get anti here with SA1 Arteus, I usually get bounced out. I don't really do that much damage, you know what I mean? Maybe I should just, you know... Maybe I should... Challenge it more. Make you spend the bar. Okay, Kelber Bian. Okay, point control. Reset again. Can Bones always go for the reset? He never wants Oki. He resets into getting blown up. It's like it's the truth of combos. <laughs> I love it. Now, Bones always jab reset, not sure what he's hoping to get out of that. He's not Dudley. He's not Dudley. He's not gonna reset you in some kind of fucking insane high low mix up into super. He's just resetting you for what? Take the Oki. Okay, meeting punches here from Goss is challenging all of Bones' movement. Media punches for days. Crouching Fierce caught Bones jumping back. That's interesting. Oh no. That was weird. Oh, what a challenge from uh, Bones. That fucking uh, launch has such a fast recovery. Oh, the medium punch doing work? Bones not respecting that option. Even Goss gets so much mileage out of that. Really, again, for this whole set, Goss has gotten his most mileage out of the same things over and over again. We've seen Bones with zero adjustment. Nice period there from uh, Bones. Let's control the corner here from Goss. A little combo as well. Oh, and the back fierce. Oh, this might be it. Good tick grab. One last mix-up. Oh, that was sick. Good games, guys. Goss takes set 10-2 over Bones. That was much more uh, one-sided than I hoped it would be.
Hopefully Bones goes back and learns from this. Well played, guys. And really we saw, you know, Bones sort of doing what he wanted to do. And we saw that pretty early on, Goss kind of felt out what to do about that. Whether it be just, you know, spamming medium punch or, uh, you know, going for the power bomb whenever he'd block a, a spin hook. We saw that Bones took away that power bomb. But again, after that point, you know, the medium punch just really ruined his whole situation there. But hopefully, again, Bones can rewatch that back and learn from it. Hopefully, we see that run back at some point in the near future. But that was pretty explosive. 10-2, uh, very one-sided for Goss. Well played, gentlemen. Glad, Goss, uh, glad Bones made it out. As always, pleasure having you as well, Goss. Guys, the time is now at 9.55. Let's get a little tournament started here, guys. Just a little something-something. Nothing too formal. Just something for fun. Let's go to Challenge and get it going here. Bones, I'd probably just play Yang or Rue TBH as Bones, huh? Yeah. Again, you got to slow it down, Bones. It's just, you know, it doesn't matter who you pick. You could pick anybody. But again, when you're playing 3S, you have to be awake. You got to be awake. You have to be watching your opponent. You have to be thinking what they do and what they want and how to get around it. I felt like you weren't thinking about what, what Goss was doing that whole set and trying to find a way around it. You were sort of doing the same things, and he kept blowing up the same way. Okay, so let's see here. So what am I doing here? I don't belong here. Let's actually uh, hit Control O, Control Zero to get this thing looking halfway decent. I got a tournament name. What should we call tonight's tournament? It's going to be singles. How about um, how about I, Sneech's singles now? I, how about singles mixer? I like that. <laughs> Sneech's singles mixer. Here we go. There we go game we're going to be playing here? Probably Third Strike. Unless you guys want to play something else. You guys want to play, I don't know, maybe some, uh, some DOA 6? We can do that, too. Hola. Double a limb. Thank you for the sub, Big Nasty. Bruise Day Tuesday. Thank you for the sub, GV Beefy. I'm sorry, I missed that during the set. Welcome more, GV. I highly doubt it. <laughs> play some 3S Arcades? Okay. I highly doubt it. Three really guys, this time. I highly doubt it, dude. Start time? <laughs> tentative. And by tentative, I mean right now. Okay, who's down to play? I'm going to be playing. I think our taste is down to play. Who's is playing tonight, guys? Maybe a small one tonight. It's okay, some people like small ones. Our taste. Then come on. Present it up, Caesar. You want to come play? Keep them mixing. You just come play, Caesar. Tech plug, the salt has arrived. Has fight cave installed? Oh, tech plug. You want to play, Blueby? Hell yeah. Can you remind me what your fight cade names are? Bones is in, excellent. Oath is in, excellent. Let me know your guys' fight cade names. Some of you guys I don't see on play on the stream that often. Three Venge, yes. Blueby, thank you, Blueby. Are you an artist, Blueby? Your name is Blueby Art. Decoy, excellent. Gotcha, Caesar. We'll, we'll disqualify you if you can't uh, make it to the end. Just happy to have you playing. Oath. Oni Ramen, yes. Fucking word, Oni Ramen. I feel like I'm missing people already. Nice, Blue. Do you ever stream your artwork? You want to share some with the stream? I'll look at it right now if you want. He says, hi. Hi, Eat. Do you want to come play? I wish you would, Eat. Always a pleasure seeing you play. Whether it's Alex or whether it's uh, Akuma, whether it's somebody else. You going to play, Jeefy? It's like, yeah. Okay, let's see something really cool, guys. Eat just reminded me. I'm going to check something really cool. Hold on one second. We'll do an unboxing here. I'm going to do an impromptu unboxing. There's no sign up, Digimon. Just to remind me that you want to get in once I've done my unboxing here, guys. He just reminded me. Ooh, what do we got? What's up, Joe? Are we going to play tonight, dude? What do we got here? Oh my god. Impromptu unboxing, guys. In the middle of getting the tournament set up. We have a vinyl uh, LP here. Let me actually do a little more snipping snipping here. Just let me know, Mercurial Pengo. Nice handle, by the way. Yeah, once I'm done with this, uh, with this random unboxing, we're going to uh, start getting more people registered for the tournament here. Just let me know you want to play. If you want to play, say, hey, think about it. Let me in. Oh, my God. 
Wow, so well packaged. Excellent, amazing. Guys, this is Eat's new album, Crimes Against White America. It's absolutely beautiful, uh, unbelievably well uh, put together. Wow. So what do we got here? Okay. Here's the uh, back of the artwork there. Beautiful, beautiful sleeve. Here's the record itself, of course. Excellent label art. What an honor. Oh, what else we got here? We got some kind of, uh, looks like maybe some, some kind of, um, some more artwork here. Amazing. Beautiful. It's like a track list there. Should we play it, uh, uh, Katie? I wonder if I had my freaking, uh, my turntable hooked up. Let's see if I can't slide this back into the sleeve here. I'll get the show underway for you guys. Thank you for your patience, guys. Thank you, Eat, for putting together such a, a lovely package here. What a thing of beauty. Guys, again, please uh, find Eat's Bandcamp. <laughs> find Eat's Bandcamp and buy this album. That's lovely, guys. So thank you for your patience there. Let's get this show underway here. So right now we have Arteus, Venkabot, Bones, Three Venge, Bluebee, Oath, Oni Remin, and Eat. Let's see if I can't find more guys that want to come play. Joe's going to play. Excellent. These cookies and cream. Decoy that he's in. Thank you, uh, Digimon, for the reminder. Hey, for me. Decoy Mandis. FIFA King. Uh, I forget what the number is after FIFA King's name. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. And uh, Digimon. Hey, Digimon. Hey, Digimon. Let's go change me. Tan Ren. Are you in Neon? I, I, well, I'll do my little... Uh, thank you for the uh, link there. You got to check out that link. Yeah, Mercurial, yeah. Are you uh, are you uh, on a wire or are you on Wi-Fi? Mercurial Pengo. Because no Wi-Fi allowed in the tournament, unfortunately. Also, please be in North America, whether you're in Canada, the U.S., or Mexico. Let's go, Mercurial, yes, yes. Neon says they made it tonight, huh? Maybe not tonight for Neon Riot. No, Blueby, no Wi-Fi, please. Maybe next time, Blueby. So we can knock out Blueby here, unfortunately. No, Blueby. Let's go, Mercurial. Yes, it's likely here. Thank you, Eat. Guys, check out that fucking page here. So I can't bring it up for you guys here. Twitch.tv says, think about slash chat. Oh, no. What have I done? I messed it up. I messed it up. Check it out, guys. Omaha on the blast, you. So now we've got 15, uh, excuse me, 13 guys. Arteus, Venkabot, Bones, Three Venge, Oath, Oni Ramen, Eid, Cookies and Cream, Decoy Mandis, FIFA King, Digimon, Tan, Ren, Mercurial. I want to add uh, uh, Caesar. That's uh, Big Nasty. Yeah, Whole Horse, yeah, I'd love to have you. Son of Whole Horse? Who else am I forgetting? Son of Whole Horse and... Uh, oh, uh, Tech Plug, are you still around? Tech Plug, you want to come play? How about Jeefy? Can I come play Jeefy? Tech plug, are you still around, dude? I'd love if you can play with us tonight, dude. It'd be your first time, maybe your freaking your return to the stream after what? Probably more than a year. What's up, Rotary? Welcome aboard. We're gonna tournament started, Rotary. You wanna come play? Right now we've got uh 15 players in. It's Venkabot, Arteas, Bones, Three Venge, Oath, Oni Ramen, Eat, Cookies and Cream, Decoy Mandis, FIFA King, Digimon, Tanren, Mercurial, Big Nasty, and Whole Horse. I have to go in like an hour, so if I can even get like one win, I wouldn't be able to finish. I'm sorry, GP, yeah. That's true. No wire. I got your rotary. That's a struggle. Okay. So I don't really see tech plug in the chat for at the uh, in the immediate. But let me start seeding this, guys. If you guys want to play, let me know. Uh, let's see here. Uh, cookies and cream, of course, would be at the very top. Arteus, then Kabat. Oath looked really, really good last time. Uh, Oni Ramen, also. Very scary. Eat, very, very scary. Uh, FIFA King is a player I've not seen play as much as I would like to. Uh, again, I, I believe he's a pretty strong Ken. Might put him uh, above me. Put him right between me and Arteas. Digimon, a very scary Q player. I'm going to put him um, maybe like right above Oath. 
So you're little guy 417, huh? Is that your fucking handle? Thank you, uh, Neon. See if I can fix that once, uh, once, uh, Chalana starts working here. Get some music in one in the meantime. Just a little for fun tournament here, guys. No big deal. They wouldn't let me have Son of Whole Horse. Why not? Somebody stole that already? You're not Whole Horse's first son? That seems weird. Hey, uh, Chalange, you wanna maybe work? That'd be sick. Your ancient ass aim name, huh? Okay, let's see. It's what I miss. Oath Oni Ramen, Bones, uh, Digimon, Thief King's Throw already. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna add, I'm gonna change uh, Whole Horse's name from Whole Horse to Little Guy 417. AKA Whole Horse. Oh, Big Nasty. Oh, we got Big Nasty. Okay, Tan Ren, Digimon X. I'm gonna put uh, Digimon X right here. And Tan Ren right here. Once again, Chalange uh, freaking out. Relax, Chalange, relax. Let's go, KD. Yes. How about you, Jose? No, you don't know what the internet is out there. Yeah, there's definitely uh, some internet going on out here, Katie. This is some internet happening out here, for sure. I'm glad you're playing though, because we have uh, the likes of, uh, you know, Kyo, Arteus, Caesar playing. Decoy Mandis. Ah, uh, let me right here. Makes sense to me, Jose. Makes sense to me, dude. Are you ready? Go. Yes, Mr. Back. Yeah, of course you can holler, dog. I'm glad that you did. Mustard back. I'm bringing mustard back. Yep. Mustard back. Oh, let's see here. Eat, decoy, oath, Digimon, Oni Ramen, Tanren. Yeah, I like that. So, Rodri has a link in the chat, guys. Can, uh, can opener MVCI match Reno today with Yipes here? Okay. And Riz1. Couple of match notes here, guys. See if I can hit up uh, this one right here real quick. Just click the link, guys. Log in on Match Reno. Ta -da. And claim the code. There's 40 codes left, guys. It's free money on the table for these fine folks. I'll do the sponsor question. I feel like it. Let me see if I can't also uh, hit this other link here for Yipes Tournament. Looks like I just did that. Maybe I did that already. Oh my god. Still eight claim codes left, though. Let's go. Easy game. Thank you, Rotary. That's what I'm saying, Holos. Click them the codes. Them other comments don't know how to act. Yep. All right, guys. So I'm sorry if I missed your uh, request to join. I apologize. I'm a little bit distracted here, guys. Once more time. That's me. One more time. We have Cookies and Cream, Katie Alpha, Big Nasty, Arteus, FIFA King, Venkabot, Eat, Decoy Mandids, The 27th Oath, Digimon, Oni Ramen, Mustardback, Tanren, Bones, Three Venge, Mercurial, and Little Guy 417. This is down. How about you, Techplug? I'm getting Bones warmed up. I miss his Yang, though. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Techplug, but do you want to come play Techplug in the tournament? Why not? Everything working for you? Lambda, I think, Katie. Lambda said he wanted in. That's awesome. Lambda Complex. I'm sure he goes by Lambda Complex on, on Fightcade, though. I think he does. I haven't seen Lambda play in a long time. Like, in a very long time. I have no idea where to see him. Um... Lambda. How about right here? Yeah. I'm going to put Bones under 3 Venge for now. Okay. Oh, I got you, Tech Plug. I got you. That's unfortunate. Maybe we'll play some other time, Tech Plug. I like you're enjoying Fightcade, though, huh? I'm going to mail fucking Anthrax. Is that true? You're going to mail it Katie Anthrax, but why? Katie loves that band, though, huh? All right, guys, so now we've got 18 players. Last call, guys. Time is now uh, 10.09. I apologize about the late start here. Last call for players. We have Cookies and Cream, Katie Alpha, Big Nasty, Arteus, FIFA King, Venkabot, Eat, Decoy Mandids, The 27th Oath, Digimon, Oni Ramen, Mustardback, Lambda Complex, Tanren, Three Venge, Bones, Mercurial, and Little Guy 417. I think it's ready, Caesar. Yeah, it's just about ready. Just want to make sure nobody else wants to get in here, guys. Again, if you guys told me you wanted to play, I apologize. I might have missed you. Please verify that your name is on stream right now. If your name is not here, then you ain't playing. That's my fault. Hey, Carter, so you want to come play with us? 
Not at all, Carter. No, you're not too late at all. Tetsu, a.k.a. is going to be our last entrant. Um, you know what, though? I'm going to add Shulok as well. And if he ain't here, I'm going to disqualify this man. But I'm going to add Shulok. Because he said he's closing up his store. He's on his way home. But maybe we can delay his match long enough he can actually get here in time and play if he feels like it. He has no idea he's going to be playing the tournament, though. But now he is. Okay. So I'm actually going to see Shulok here. Uh, Tanren. Three Venge. Right there. Tetsu, going to be above Little Guy and above Mercurial for now. You know what I'm, I'm actually going to see Mercurial in the middle. Since Mercurial is uh, is uh, new to the channel here. At least new in terms of playing on stream. Let's see Mercurial right around here. I like that. First to two, eat. First to two. You're in, Chulak. Yes, you're in. Every match on stream? Uh, 20 players? I would say no. Might do losers round one off stream. Take your time. Don't, don't Drive safe, Chulak. Drive safe. We're going to try and delay your match. Okay, so let's look at the bracket. This is gonna be finalized bracket now. It's those first to one. I think we should do first to two. That just seems as a host, it's easier for me. People getting in and out of the fight cave can be kind of a pain. It kind of takes a long time to get people connected and, and spectated. Let's keep it first to two. Okay, so what do we got here? So we got uh, two lock and three venge, mustard back, little guy, Tanran and Tetsu, aka Lambda and Bones, Cooks and Cream waiting in the wings, Decoy and Oath, Arteus by himself, Fifa King and M Mercurial, KD, Eat, Digimon. Big Nasty, then about Oni Ramen. Okay, okay. I like it. All right, guys. Again, if you couldn't get in, I apologize. Could be my fault. We're going to let it rock right now, guys. This is the Sneetch's uh, Singles Mixer. I'm going to put it in the chat for y'all. Here's the link. The bracket command does not work. Bracket won't do shit for you. If anybody asks in the chat, please share this with them. I appreciate that. If you have to do that. Here we go. First match on stream. Can we get uh, Mustard back, please, versus Little Guy 417? Little Guy is uh, son of Old Horse. He's a uh, really great dude. Very warm, very friendly. He's finally on Fightcade. He's getting to third strike. I would say he's a, a learning player. That's my way of saying that he's not strong in the game. He's kind of picking the game up and trying to get some advice, get some coaching. Can we get Mustard back and Little Guy first to two, please? There's no lobby muster back now. We're just in the public fight K lobby. Let's see, where is little guy 417, aka son of whole horse? Let's see if we can find this dude. Oh, we guys have a really cool night. I sure as uh, hell am already. It's very pleasant. You guys always make it so chill. I've been streaming 3S now for, for years. And it's always a pleasure. There's no lobby indeed, yeah. yeah where is this guy, little dude? I see Leone. I don't see little dude. Let's see here. Hope we don't have fucking, you know, just cough my dude this early on. I see a little boost, not little dude. They're in. Excellent. Thank you, a mustard back. Thank you, old horse. 